Well, hi everybody, it's Thursday. Hopefully you have been following along every day this week, but if not, I am glad that you are watching this video and that you are going to, uh, that we're gonna be reading the Bible together. Today we're going to be reading from Romans chapter eight. It's a little bit of a longer passage, verses 18 all the way through the end of the chapter 39. And this is actually a lot like what we read yesterday, just from Paul instead of Peter and a little bit different different uh, point, but the the, the end goal is the same, that we would think about the glory of heaven. He talks about in the first half about how that we have the Holy Spirit to, as a foretaste of future glory in verse 23, the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness, all, all sorts of good things in there. But I want you to especially pay attention to verses 35 through the end. Even if we are in trouble or calamity, persecuted, hungry, destitute, danger, threatened, death, we have overwhelming victory because of what Jesus did for us. Because Jesus removed the barrier between us and our Heavenly Father, we can have a relationship with God now where we can experience his presence, where there is nothing that can ever separate us from God's love in this life, but also in the life to come. Neither angels nor demons, death nor life, fears for today or worries about tomorrow, any of those sorts of things. And if you've grown up in church or even if you've been around here for a while, these will probably be some pretty familiar verses, especially towards the end. But don't just don't just read through them because, ah, oh, yeah, I know what it says and let's get through it. I want you to try and read them with a fresh perspective. Read this as if God were speaking directly to you because that's part of the importance, that's part of the point of reading the Bible regularly is we believe this is a way that God speaks to us and draws us close to himself. This is how we grow closer to God once Jesus has given us access to him. And just, again, read it slowly. Ponder it. Talk to God before you read and ask him to reveal his presence to you, his love, his grace. Ask him to help you see the truth of this from his perspective. And then I pray that you would think about this all day long. Just ponder these words. Maybe, maybe you want to take one verse and just memorize it. Repeat it to yourself over and over and over again. I know I've done that with several different verses in the Bible that are just extremely comforting and they're a good foundation for me when I'm facing struggles, when I'm facing worries. So maybe something out of here would be useful for you to do that as well. But I, I hope more than anything that as you read these verses today, that you experience the fullness that comes with knowing God and having a relationship with him. And I pray that you actually grow closer to him today. See you tomorrow.